Shalom to the elect. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh. The power of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, is his name and his only begotten son, our King, our Redeemer, our Savior, the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, the beginning and the end, and the Alpha and the Omega, our King, the King of Israel, Yahweh Shai. Yes, family, that's our King. It is indeed a privilege, eh? it is an honor to have this word, the gospel of our King, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. To have this word in my mouth, family, oh, I am extremely blessed, and I hope that this lesson indeed will go out and comfort you and comfort you but before we get in let's uh give double honors to our head the head apostles from the great millstone these are the men that the lord has raised up to teach us in this last days and we are extremely grateful these are all the tender mercies of the lord you see as uh, the children of israel we were dead we didn't know who we were we were busy calling ourselves blacks, Native American, Native Indians, eh? Negroes, Latinos, Hispanic, eh? Jamaican, Caribbean. These are all the names that the oppressor gave us and we had no clue who we were. But again, the Lord, with full of tender mercies, no matter how bad we are, somehow, some way, you know what, though? he rescues us, you know, he shows us his love. And he showed us our he showed us his love and through his only begotten son, our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. And by raising these men up, our head apostles, the elders, the bishop from the great millstone that taught us this truth. And salutation, peace to all the brothers out there. You know, doing these lessons, family. Oh, yes, we have just eaten, family. The Lord is just fattening us because the lessons are family 24 hours, family, whatever. Your heart desire, family, it is there. All you can eat buffet is on the internet. And, and this is how the Lord is spoiling us in this last day. These words are comforting. And this is how the Lord, he says he's going to be with us till the end of time. Pursuing to Matthew 28, the last precept. And he's going to be with us till the end of the days. Family roughly power phrasing. And the Lord indeed it is with us because he is the word. And he comes in the volume of the book. You see, he says, the word that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Family, we are spoiled. We are extremely spoiled. And we thank the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And everything he promised, family, the prophecies are jumping off the pages. But again, 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 salutation, peace to all the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth. And to you, the listeners, tuning in, eh? may the Lord continue to keep you. You see, the path that he has created for us, we pray that he will give us the strength to endure, to see the, come, the second coming of our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. And we pray that we are among the numbers. It says everybody should work on what? Their own salvation with fear and trembling. And that's what we are doing. Family, we are not taking any breaks. We're going full steam ahead. We say full steam ahead. And we're going to continue to do the work so that when the Lord shows up, family, that's right. You know what? Uh, he will be pleased eh, with what we've done, with this knowledge. We thank the Lord again. It is a privilege. Family, we're going to get right into it. Oh, yes. Putin is taking the gloves off. Oh, yeah. Family, Putin is taking the gloves off. Now he has won the election. I think he got another five years or six years. Family, so what? He's about to show his true colors to these nations. That's the spirit that the Lord is putting in him. The Lord is the one directing the mind of these kings. Pursuing to Proverbs chapter 21. You see? And to you again, this message is for the elect family. This is this message is for only for the elect of Israel, the ones occupied with prophecies. That's right. Only the elect of Israel. The Lord is not coming to save everybody. But let's open it up with Isaiah 40, verse 1. And we're gonna do a little bit different. And your Lord willing. The Spirit just says, I should bring this out. It says here, Isaiah 40, verse 1. It says, comfort, it says, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Who are the lost people? You go to the book of Psalm 148, the last two precepts, it tells you the lost people are what? Israel. It says, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, says your power. 
And actually, you know what? Let's read in the NLT. Hmm? Let me go here. Isaiah 40, verse... Uh, Isaiah 40. We're going to pick it up from verse 1 and 2. And then we're going to bring this. It says here, Comfort, comfort my people, says your power. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. And it says Jerusalem where people before a place. Wherever the Israelites are, is considered what? Jerusalem. Eh? It says, tell her. The Lord compared us to what? Between to the book of Jeremiah 6, eh? a tented, delicate woman. Right? So the Lord is speaking to what? Her, his people. Eh? Israel. It said, tell her. Tell who? Israel. Eh? That what? Her sad days are gone. And her sins are pardoned. This is only for the elect. It says, yes, the Lord Yahweh has punished her twice over for all her sins. But guess what? It is over. The fact that these prophecies are jumping off the pages and the signs are everywhere. The end of this kingdom is here, family. That's right. Third World War is one of the major prophecies and it's going to be fulfilled in our lifetime. We hope this is the year. But let's bring another precept here. Let's go to the book of 2 Ezra. 2 eh? Ezra chapter 16 verse 70. It says, For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. We know that tribulation is coming. Because the Lord says in the book of Matthew chapter twenty. Chapter 24, verse, uh, verse 29 down. It says, well, through much tribulation, eh, we're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Eh? But remember what the Lord says in the book of Jacob, uh, sorry, Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Although it's Jacob's trouble, what? Jacob shall be saved out of it. The elect Lord already family prepared. Eh? He already got the angels. The angels are going to guide us. We're going to read it here. He says here, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. But we are not worried. We fear the Lord. The Lord says what? The fear of the Lord is what? It's his treasure. It says knowledge and wisdom is going to be the stability of the time. But the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Eh? It's confirming. So whatever we are doing, we're fearing the Lord. So it's going to protect us. Eh? You see? It said the angel... Of the Lord Yahweh, Psalm 34, encampeth round about those that, those that fear the Lord. So if these people come, eh, that's why right, insurrection, they come in to remove us from our homes, whatever they're about to do to us, because why? We fear the Lord. Family, we are in great hands. We are in great hands. It says here, it says that they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. We know they are coming, but the Lord is also, remember, the Lord is balanced. He says he's also going to raise the standard. Hopefully we can get out in Isaiah 59. And he says here, For they shall waste and take away their goods, and, and cast them out of their houses. And then shall they be known who my chosen. That's right. Everybody's going to know who the lost elect are. And they shall be tried as what? As the gold in the fire. The Lord is going to put us through the ad family. Yahweh Shai, before he received the kingdom, he has to go through. He had to family. That's right. He had to be baptized. And he had to, family, he had to give up his life. He, the moment he came out of, uh, what is it called? Uh, Mary's womb. This was his destiny. He was going to be sacrificed for what? The children of Israel. He went through it. And I always go back to the Bible. The servant, which are what? The Israel, the men of the Lord are not greater than that. The master, that's right. The master told us what we have to go through, which is what? Our king, Yahweh Shai, the ultimate shepherd. Yahweh Shai is our everything. He is our husband. That's right. So if our husband went through it, oh yeah, the bride is going to go through it too. Family, that's right. But don't worry. The victory is already written for us. That's why it says speak comfortably. And he says, your iniquity are pardoned. The Lord is about to blot out our sins. The hopeful elect. He said, then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. And you see, he said, hear, O ye, my beloved. Hmm? Says the Lord, Yahweh. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Eh? But I 
will deliver what you from the same. The Lord said, don't worry about what you're about to go through. You see, the third world war, the chaos that is coming across America, the civil war, the microchip, the Lord said, don't worry about it. You see, the Lord said, don't worry about it. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Father, he said, be ye not afraid, neither doubt. You see that? The Lord said, don't have, don't be double-minded. Okay, when everybody is afraid, they're telling you that what are you doing? You're making the biggest mistake by, by saying that God is going to save you or what family? They said, no, you wait on the Lord. He said, be ye, he says what? Be ye not afraid, neither what? Doubt. We don't want no double-minded person here. No, you can't have any doubt. He said, for the most high, Yahweh is your guide. How is he going to be your guide? He said, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You know who the eyes of the Lord are? Those are the angels. They are everywhere. The angels are everywhere, family. Hmm? I think let's go to the book of... <coughs> Ah, <clears throat> ah, like Second Corinthians, no, Second Chronicles. I said Second Chronicles sixteen. I haven't been there in a while. No, Second Chronicles. Let's go to sixteen. Hmm? Sixteen. I don't know. Let me see. I think it's nine. Yeah, it's nine. Oh yes, it's nine. What are you? How about Shem Listen to it. For the eyes of the Lord and Yahweh. Run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Those are the angels, family. To show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. That's the elect. The angels are going to what? Protect the elect. That's what the Lord says. What? Let's go back to what was this? Uh, second Ezra. Did I close it? I think I closed it. It said the Lord said he's going to be your guide on those days. During the tribulation. Eh? So you have nothing to worry about. Eh? I said it here. I said the angels of the Lord encamped round about those that fear him and delivered them. Right? Let's bring that also. And eh? the spirit says, I got to be family. It's all about comforting the elect. You see? Comforting, knowing that yes, chaos is coming. We can't escape it, but we have to remember. This precepts here, we have to family bathe in it. We have to eat this thing up. Eh? We, this is what we're supposed to be. From this is our focus. Eh? We have to allow this word, this word here to guide us. Eh? I, uh, Psalm 34, quickly. It says here, let's pick it up from verse here. Verse 6. The poor man cried. Who is the poor man? The elect. Eh? And the Lord Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. It says here, the angel of the Lord Yahweh encampeth. We just read the second chronicles chapter chapter 16 there hey eh? second chronicles 16 i think was nine right it says what that's right the angels of the lord the eyes of the lord are what that's right those are the angel they are watching over the elect hey eh? it said the angel of the lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivereth them hey eh? it says taste is this what it said oh taste and see that the lord yahweh is good Blessed is the man that trusted in him. That's why we can't have any doubt. Family, you can be double-minded. And if you are double-minded, pray that the Lord will increase your faith. As the, the book of James says, the Lord gives it liberally. Pray and fast that the Lord will increase your faith. So you can stand boldly. When Esau comes, you tell Esau to go F and... That's right. I don't want to use that word, but family, you know what I mean. You see? He says, the, the, the hopefully, like he said, they love not their life until death. That's the mindset of the elect. But we know that the Lord is also going to raise a standard. I quoted it earlier. Let's go to the book of Psalm 69. And Psalm 69, I believe, is verse. Uh, is it Psalm 69? Our oh, Isaiah. Is Psalm 69? When the Lord, it says, when the enemy. Is it Psalm 69, verse. Uh, I said, no, I think it's Psalm 69 or 69, 17. No, 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 no. Is it Psalm 69, please? Um, wow. I said, it's just leaving me right now. 
It says somewhere Isaiah. Let me do something quickly. It says, shall I raise a standard? Ah, oh, come on. I just went blank for a second there. Please bear with me. Isaiah. Isaiah 59, 19. My goodness, that's why it didn't even make sense when I was in Psalm. Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59, 19. It says here. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Eh? Because the Lord is going to come from the east and make his way down here to the west. Right? It says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the flood was his military. Eh? The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, shall lift up a standard against him. Oh yeah, some of our men, some, some, some of the elect are going to receive spiritual power. Oh yeah, he's not going to grab all of us. Oh no, 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 family, the Lord is not going to do that. The Lord is balanced. He's going to allow some of us to be grabbed and because the Bible has to be, what? The prophecies have to be fulfilled. Some of us are going to lose our life on this end. And that's the mindset. That's the mindset that we are in. You see? That's why for Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is going to get the glory. He's going to raise us up. The same way his father raised him from the dead. That's why he's also going to raise us up, family. You see? Barakate Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Hmm? Family, listen to this. And this is just good. Oh, here. Yeah. This is Intel. This is how Turn Up Radio Show broke this news earlier. And we have, um, no, let's go, let's, let's do this first. It says Intel claims of NATO member nation troops arriving in Ukraine. Okay, this is good because family, it was two weeks ago, French uh, President Macron said that what? That's why they are ready to deploy troops to uh, Ukraine to go against Russia. We are living in a beautiful time, family. It says here, reports are coming out of central Ukraine claiming huge numbers, number, numbers of foreign troops have been arriving in the city of Czechasi, Poles, and that's Poland, German, Fran Germans, and French. No, no, no. It says city of Czechasi. It says Poles, Germans, and French mil military men are arriving in that city. Locals in that area of Ukraine say they, foreign troops, are settled on the ground floors of schools and kindergartens. We would like to point out that the educational process in educational institutions continues on the second and third floors. Parents are very worried about their children's lives as attackers are possible even though they, so, so even though these foreign troops are hiding behind children. Locals also say there is no educational process at night, which is apparently when these troops go into action. Update. Ehor Taburet, head of the Cherkasi Regional Military Administration, denied as Russia propaganda claims that the Polish, German, and French soldiers are stationed in schools and kindergarten in Cherkasi. Hear what they are saying here. Family. It was, they're not going to come out and say it. This is an Intel report. Okay. It says here, it was just two, three weeks ago, uh, ago that French President Emmanuel Macron publicly floated the notion of France and perhaps other nations sending their active duty soldiers into Ukraine under what? Well, bilateral agreement outside the scope of NATO. Macron was fiercely rebuked, but just days later, he doubled down saying such a notion has to be on the table. A week or so after that, others in NATO started talking about uh, the possibility of sending troops under bilateral agreement. They too were rebuked and now, at least publicly, German and Poland are saying they will not send their troops. Most observers of the Russian-Ukraine conflict thought Macron and the others were merely floating the idea to see what response might be. Now, however, it seems they put this idea out in public. Because they are not only already decided to do it, they appear now to have already begun doing it. You see, but now look and immediately after that, now we have at least 10 TU-35 missile planes airborne towards Ukraine. These are the family, that's what it looks like. At least 10 
Russian Tu-95 missile carry, carrier planes have taken off from bases inside Russia, heading towards launch areas typically used when attacking Ukraine. The Tu-95 MC strategic missile carrier and NATO codification bear was developed as a carrier of long-range strategic air launch cruise missile. The aircraft is a modified version of the 295. I mean, I don't want to bore you with this, but this is what is happening now. It says here, now counting 14 TU-95MC in the air. Total payload for all planes, 40, 84 cruise missiles. Yeah, Russia is taking the gloves off, family. And this is what a site is. But listen to what China is saying today. It said Russia, China to stand back to back, supporting each other. Ambassador said, family, we can make this up. And this is what we want. Eh? Two nuclear powers going against the West. Eh? The kings of the East. Zhang Hanghu said that the Russia-Chinese relation, this is from Taz News. It says here, Zhang, Zhang Hanghu said that the Russian-Chinese relations of the Comprehensive Partnership and Strategic Cooperation have now entered the most favorable period in the entire history. Moscow and Beijing will continue to stand back to back, supporting each other, Chinese ambassador to Russia, Zhang Hanghu, told Taz in an interview. On Monday, Chinese President Xi Jinping congratulated Russian President Vladimir Putin in re on re-election to the post of the President of Russia. This reflects solid friendship and mutual political trust between the two leaders. The countries firmly support each other, other on issues that affect their key national interests, while back-to-back -back strategic cooperation is becoming stronger and stronger. The Chinese envoy said, Barakata Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawashai, Bahashem Rukwakudash. Family, I just want to bring that one out quickly. This is probably going to be one of my shortest uh, update, World War Three update. Let's see what else, uh, what, what else is cooking there. Let's go to... Um, uh let's go to let me see what is out there and then i can let's see here mm -hmm. it's a ted professional this is from the people voice family i just wanna let's look at this it says ted professional football uh footballer and eh? surface uh you know what family i'm gonna i'm not gonna read that you can read it in the last three days professional athletes are supposed to be among the healthiest people on the planet but in the past few years, thousands have what? C-O-L-A-P-S-E-D with S-U-D-D-E-N. And family, you, you get the point. And what is the cause of that? Family, you know what it is. We're not going to beat around the bush. You know what it is. It's called Esau Special Juice. Okay? And remember the things that if you didn't take it, you couldn't go to the gym. You couldn't fly. That's right. It says here, Royal Insider Family, we could care less. But I just want to bring this out. It said, Royal Insider, Kate Middleton was sacrificed and replaced with body double. Oh, wow. Family, hmm. everything is falling apart, man. You see, the lies, family, the lies are not, uh, are not what? The lies are not working anymore. And their kingdom is falling apart right in front of them. This is the time, family. We are about to go home. German government tells children to prepare for World War Three. Actually, I saw this on another news network. It says here, German government tells children to prepare for World War III. Your parents will die. Oh, I love this. Let's click on this here. German children have been instructed by the government to prepare for World War III and expect loved ones, including their parents, to potentially die in battle. According to German's educational minister, Bettina Stark Wazinga, children in the country must become more resilient in the face of imminent global war. Yeah, family, because Europe is broke. They have no other choice but to go to Russia because the key is to destroy Russia because the resources in Russia, that's what's going to work, sustain Europe. That's why they want that cheap gas, right? You see, they want to balkanize Russia the same way they divided Africa, the continent of Africa, they colonized Africa among themselves. They want to do the same to Russia. So we will see how Putin responds, okay? So here they are telling you, they say they are telling you that, yes, prepare. Your daughter, sorry, your mother, your father is going to die in the war. So if the children, children need to be resilient. Family, Esau's kingdom is falling apart. Eh? South Dakota and Georgia criminalize key Bible teachings under, you know, 
anti yeah family we know that eventually it doesn't matter though you can take this word out of the the, the, the internet you know stop the men from preaching because you have you have to fulfill the pro, the prophecy. The Lord says what He's going to remove His men. Eh? The f famine of hearing the word. It is coming. Hosea chapter. Let me see. Is it Hosea? No, let's go. Is it Hosea? Yeah, I think Hosea. No, oh Amos. I think it's Amos eight eleven. No. I don't know what I was doing at. I think it's eight, Amos 8, 11. It says here, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land. You hear that? A famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, not food, nor test or for water, but hearing the words of the Lord. So if they ban the Bible, guess what? That's right. Access to the internet, that's why You teaching, all these lessons are going to be removed from the internet. Right? Esau is desperate right now because what the narrative they used to control the narrative, but everything is falling apart. But they think they are the one in control. No, it is the Lord that is doing it. You see, it is the Lord. Your arms are too short to fight against the Lord. It says here, let's read it. It says here, where was that? In South Dakota and Georgia criminalized key Bible teachers under anti anti Semitism laws. Let's hear this. New legislation enacted in South Dakota and Georgia has criminalized important Bible teaching under the guise of protecting Jewish people from anti. I thought they, I thought, I thought, I thought they were the people of the book. If they are the people of the book, they should encourage teaching the Bible. No, it said that the Bible belonged to them. No, it says Governor Christy Noem and Brian Kemp signed a bill into law as well, codifying for state purposes the international hollow you know what remembrance association working working definition of anti you know what however the anti we whatever laws do not just make it illegal to use symbols and images associated with the with the anti to criticize israel or israelis or israel they also make it a criminal offense to preach key parts of the holy bible my goodness, family, we can't make this thing up. We can't make this. Everything is falling apart, right? Yeah, please uh, forgive me my silliness. Yes, uh, you see, yeah, do you burn the Bible? That don't mean the prophecies are not going to come to pass. No, it will come to pass. But it is the Lord that is doing it. You see, the Lord is that is doing it. You are fulfilling prophecy, but you don't know it. Because once you take away the Bible, you criminalize uh, teaching the Bible, guess what? You just fulfill the book of uh, Amos chapter 8 verse 11. You see, this is the power of the Lord. <laughs> so you don't know who you're fighting against. You can burn all the Bible, take all the Bible away, take it, go around the world, gather all the Bible and burn it down. It's not going to stop prophecy. No, Yahweh is still coming. You see, yeah, what shall I still come? He said, New York Times declares deep state is actually awesome. Whatever, man. Scottish police ordered to begin arresting comedians who tell offensive jokes. Oh, yeah, family, Esau's kingdom is falling apart. Hmm? Family, I wouldn't bore you too much. I don't want to stay too, too long on this. So as you see, you see, yes, NATO troops are in, in Ukraine. Family, it is obvious they are in there. But then nobody's going to come out and ad admit to it. So they are there. All right. And uh, Russia, the gloves are going to come off. Oh, yeah. The Roy is already co it's coming off. You see, they're about to see. They, he's about to. Because because family, he, he held back. He was hoping that, you know what, though, uh, people will come and say, oh, let's sit around the world, that around the table and talk about peace. But no, this is not the time of peace. Ecclesiastes, no. This is the time of war. This is the time of war. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Let's finish with that. Let's go to Second Ezra and finish with that family. Esau's kingdom is falling apart. His family, take, talking about banning the Bible. The ones that claim to be us, they say, oh, you should not teach from the Bible. Because why? This word here is it is destroying them. And we're going to bring it out heavy, heavy, heavy. We're not stopping. Family, we are not stopping. This is it, man. We're letting the whole world know that it is our power, Yahweh. But has Yahweh Shai that is doing all this? Second Ezra chapter 9. No, it's Second Ezra 6, 6 9. Find me straight to the point, and then we're wrapping this up. It says here, for Esau, who's Esau, you ask? Today he called himself 
European, he called himself British, he called himself Canadian, he called himself American, and he called himself Port Portuguese. No, he called himself Caucasian too. That's why. And European, no, family, they are, they call himself also white. Esau, that's why. Right. The Lord, their biblical name is what? Edom. Esau, Edom, the Edomites, the one ruling the world today. This is their kingdom. They are the wicked in the Bible. And they come in the vibration of who? Satan. For Esau is the end of the world. And, and Jacob, the 12th tribe, so-called Negroes, Latinos, African-Americans. Yes, I know you did a movie about us. You said the planet of the apes. Yes, we know that it was about us. We know. We know everything that you do, Esau. Right? That's why right. it's going to be the kingdom is going to be given to the Israelites. That's why right. the same so-called Negroes, Latinos, African, you call them niggers. You have all type of code name for us. Yes, the slaves are now going to become the slave masters. Can you dig it? <laughs> for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Oh, beloved, I hope you were edified or praises honor glory to the power of abraham isaac and jacob yahweh our heavenly father and our king the redeemer of israel man he, he promised that he's going to drink wine with us and after he destroyed babylon the great he gathered his elect we're going to see babylon on fire and then he's going to take us and he's going to crown the men we pray that we are among the numbers and after that a huge celebration he said he's going to drink wine with us for the first time Beloved, we are really looking forward to that. I am thirsty. Ha, <laughs> Barakatayahawa.